Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to day seven of Walking with Jesus Through the Word, one chapter at a time. We are in Genesis chapter five on this day seven, finishing our first week together in what will be a three-year journey through God's Word. I'm Pastor Jason Van Bemmel from Forest Hill Presbyterian Church, and this uh, you can still get these uh, journals if you want to have one. Uh, so you can take notes and you can write down prayers and you can follow along. It has the reading plan on the inside of the cover and the logo on the front. And we'd be happy to send you one. You just need to email the church or write to us the old-fashioned way through the through the mail. You can find our contact information on our website, forresthillpca.org. We're also on the YouTube channel, the About tab, or on Facebook. However it is you're finding us, you can probably find your way to our contact information. We're going to be in Genesis chapter 5 today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for giving us your word. Thank you for giving us time together in your word. Help us to treasure this time and please make it profitable to us by writing your word on our hearts by your Holy Spirit in a way that only you can. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Genesis chapter 5. This is the book of the generations of Adam. When God created man, he made him in the likeness of God. Male and female, he created them, and he blessed them and named them man when they were created. When Adam had lived 130 years, he fathered a son in his own likeness after his image and named him Seth. The days of Adam after he fathered Seth were 800 years, and he had other sons and daughters. Then all the days... Uh, thus all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. When Seth had lived 105 years, he fathered Enosh. Seth lived after he fathered Enosh 807 years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Seth were 912 years, and he died. When Enosh had lived 90 years, he fathered Kenan. Enosh lived after he, after he fathered Kenan 815 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Enosh were 905 years, and he died. When Kenan had lived 70 years, he fathered Mahalalel. Kenan lived after he fathered Mahalalel 840 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Kenan were 910 years, and he died. When Mahalalel had lived 65 years, he fathered Jared. Mahalalel lived after he fathered Jared 830 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Mahalalel were 895 years, and he died. When Jared had lived 162 years, he fathered Enoch. Jared lived after he fathered Enoch 800 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Jared were 962 years, and he died. When Enoch had lived 65 years, he fathered Methuselah. Enoch walked with God after he fathered Methuselah 300 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Enoch were 365 years. Enoch walked with God and was not, for God took him. When Methuselah had lived 187 years, he fathered Lamech. Methuselah lived after he fathered Lamech 782 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Methuselah were 969 years, and he died. When Lamech had lived 182 years, he fathered a son and called his name Noah, saying, Out of the ground that the Lord has cursed, this one shall bring us relief from our work and from the painful toil of our hands. Lamech lived after he fathered Noah 595 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Lamech were 777 years, and he died. After Noah was 500 years old, Noah fathered Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Wow. This list of genealogy taking us from Seth to Noah is really important. Uh, it tells us many things. First of all, the obvious thing that people stumble over a little bit is, how do these people live so long? Are we supposed to take this real? Is this real history? And some people have really struggled with that and have sort of written this off as mythology. But no, before the flood, people lived longer. And so 
um, we have a record of these people who lived eight or 900 years. The Bible's not the only ancient source, by the way, which tells us that before the flood, people lived much longer than they did after the flood. Did you know that almost every culture in the world has uh, tales of a worldwide flood in their history? And that several of those cultures will tell of people who lived a long time before that flood wiped out the whole earth. So it's not just the Bible. And that shows us that this is real history. It's in every culture in the world because all cultures in the world come from the same source, the Tower of Babel, which we'll get to when we get to Genesis 11. And thus it's real and true history. Another thing to clarify is we're told at the beginning of each one of these guys how long they lived before they had a certain son. We shouldn't take that as they lived that long before they had any children, but rather it's focusing on a particular line of descent. And so it's only focusing on those sons who are the fathers of the sons of the fathers of the sons to get to Noah. So because we're tracing Noah's patrilineal genealogy, his father to son genealogy, we're, we're picking up those sons that are in that line. But these are not necessarily the firstborn of these sons. And so it's not necessarily the case that these men were this old before they had any children. There's every reason to think that Seth had lots of kids before he was 105 years old and fathered Enosh. He lived another 807 years after. He had lots of sons and daughters before and after. Now, most of these guys are living to 900 and some years old. There's a couple of exceptions, and they are of note. First of all, there is Enoch. Enoch is fathering Methuselah at 65 and then living another 300 years. And then he walked with God and was not, for God took him. Apparently, Enoch did not die a natural death like that. God just took him and he lived 365 years, which is an interesting number because that's the number of days in a single year. I think it has some significance. Um, but he walked with God. What a, what a testimony of all these men who lived long ago. Enoch is the one who walked with God and God took him. Methuselah is the oldest one in the list. He lives to 969 years. And then Lamech, uh, there's several people named Lamech, by the way, in these early chapters, all different guys. So this Lamech, he lives 182 years and has a son, and he knows by prophecy, by the Spirit of God, he knows that Noah is going to bring relief from the curse. Noah's going to be the deliverer because God's going to put his favor on Noah. He's going to bring relief from the toil of their hands. The world's going to function better after the flood than it did before the flood. And notice the very significant number. Lamech lives 777 years. That's a very special divine number. So he's a very special blessed man. And he is the father of Noah, who's going to be uh, the first great deliverer in God's unfolding covenant of grace with his people. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you are the sovereign Lord over the lives of your people. You number our days. That's one of the things we can pick up from this chapter, Lord, is that you number our days. It's not an accident. We are given the time that we are given by your hand, and we are in your hands. So, Father, help us to number our days and gain a heart of wisdom. We don't live 900 years in this world. We live 70 or 80 or maybe even 90, but they are days that are to be lived for your glory. They are days not to be wasted. Help us not to waste this day. Help us to be like Enoch and to walk with you, to walk with you today and every day of our lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you again for joining us as we continue walking with Jesus through the word one chapter at a time. We'll see you again tomorrow morning. Have a blessed day in the Lord.